What's up everyone, my name is Boost Streams and welcome back to another Arknights video. Today we'll ask the question, is upgrading modules worth it? To answer this question, let's first look at some examples of modules that have high impact, medium impact, or are completely useless. We'll discuss how expensive they are to acquire and upgrade to ultimately conclude whether modules as a whole are worth getting and building. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Can we get to 150 likes for a module tier list? First, let's give some examples of high impact module upgrades, starting with Ling. Generally, the effects of upgrading modules to level 2 and 3 are not limited by the branch, which are why they can be really good. Ling's module at level 1 allows her to hold plus 3 additional dragons and dragon deployment costs are reduced. It also provides an extra 100 max HP and 30 attack. This is an incredibly impactful module, and without it, she is a lot less viable unless she is used with a vanguard. But what about upgrading to level 2 and 3? At level 2, she can deploy 4 dragons at the same time rather than 3, which is really huge. Even though she can already solo almost every stage in the game at module level 1, allowing a whole other summon on the field is insane. This is a high impact module and a high impact level 2 upgrade. Upgrading to level 3 is also high impact as it adds a lot of HP and attack to the dragons, but at the end of the day, with how broken her dragons already are, are these extra stats really worth the cost to upgrade the modules? We'll get more into this later. Mostama's level 1 module is good, but not highly impactful. It gives her 51 attack, 5 attack speed, and minus 8 DP cost. For a high DP cost operator like Mostama, this reduction in DP is quite nice, but upgrading her module is where things get spicy. Level 2 gives her another plus 1 attack speed and builds on her second talent by reducing movement speed of enemies in range by 25% or 28% depending on potentials. But where it gets really crazy is that it provides a global 10% movement speed reduction outside of her range. That's truly crazy. Level 3 gives her more attack, more attack speed, and movement speed reduction within her range minus 30% or minus 33%, and global movement speed reduction minus 18% total. Unlike Ling, upgrading Mostama's module from 2 to 3 is going to be highly valuable to Mostama's impact in battle. Mostama's third skill multiplies the global movement speed reduction by 3, resulting in a 90 or 99% reduction in movement speed within range and a 54% global reduction in movement speed. I think it's safe to say this one is worth the upgrade no matter the cost. Phantom's module refunds a large portion of the current DP cost when retreating Phantom. This is actually really great since it addresses one of Phantom's major weaknesses. With multiple redeploys, Phantom's DP can get pretty costly pretty quickly, so a refund of the DP cost is really impactful. But what about upgrading his module? Phantom's second talent reduces the redeployment time of his clones by 10 seconds. Upgrading his module to level 2 changes this reduction from 10 seconds to 14 seconds and 16 seconds at level 3. The upgrade from module level 1 to level 2 is extremely impactful as it provides a 4 second jump in his talent. As a result, Phantom's module is considered high impact and is frequently used in the current meta. But you might want to hold off on upgrading to level 3 if you are conserving your resources as it does only provide a 2 second jump in his talent and an extra 11 base attack. So since it is much less significant than the jump from level 1 to 2, level 3 is probably not worth it unless you're going full meta. There are also some medium impact upgrades to modules. For example, upgrading Neural the Radiant Knight's module only gives her increased base stats and defense ignore for her skills. While this is certainly good, it doesn't provide any new traits like the aforementioned. Nightingale's module upgrades are also medium impact. The additional trait to her second talent increases healing effectiveness by 3% at level 2 and 5% at level 3. This is certainly useful, but it's not game changing. Personally, I think it would be cool to see some buffs to her phantoms, such as losing less HP per second. Anyway, let's talk about some bad or even useless modules and module upgrades. First up is Kafka's module. Oh boy. Kafka's module provides her some HP and attack, attack plus 10% when no allied units are in the 4 adjacent tiles, and adds to her second talent by reducing block count to 0 and gaining camouflage when active. Here's the thing, none of these additions pertain to Kafka's usage whatsoever. She is used to sleep stall enemies, usually in high risk CCs, and not for damage or being on the field during her skill. So this module and its upgrades essentially does nothing. Next is Project Red's module, which provides the exact same trait as Kafka's module and adds a bit more attack percentage increase to her talent. While more attack percentage is nice, 
it's not super impactful. I don't know about you guys, but I mainly use Red to stun fast enemies like Lancers rather than kill enemies with her damage. While she certainly has use cases that employ her damage, this is overall just not incredibly impactful in all situations. And third up is Doberman. Doberman is a pretty weak operator right off the bat, and her module certainly doesn't compensate for this weakness. Her level 1 module allows her to be deployed on ranged tiles, which is nice but not super important, especially considering that her kit meshes well with deploying her behind a defender. Her level 2 and level 3 modules grant extra attack speed, but only if a 3 star is deployed on the field. This might be nice for IS or other maps where you use 3 stars, but 99% of the time you're not going to have a 3 star on the field. So some modules and module upgrades are highly impactful, some are decent, and some are bad or useless. If you want to upgrade highly impactful or even decent modules, how much does it cost? Well, the cost to upgrade many modules to level 3 is insanely high. In addition, it requires playing the most hated game mode in Arknights, Special Security Services. Many people hate this game mode because of poor balancing, lack of auto deploy, and high difficulty. But that's a story for another day. So you can't upgrade them all to level 3 at once or in close temporal proximity due to the high resources required and time gating of SSS and resource acquisition. So let's return to the main question, is upgrading modules worth it? The answer is yes, it is worth it for some modules, but for most modules it is definitely not. And even for the modules where it is worth it, you might want to think twice about upgrading them all the way to level 3, unless of course you really like the character or really like the kit and want to max them out. I know I did for Bagpipe, so if you want to see a video on Bagpipe, can we get to 150 likes? As always, thanks for watching, peace.